Welcome to the first video of another playlist called Biomed Studio Basics. In this video, very first video, I'll be taking you through the steps of how you can access Climate Studio. So, in order to get an access to Climate Studio, you should follow this address, solema.com slash climate studio. If you've been in this kind of analysis simulations for a while, they've released the plugin for Rhino and Grasshopper called Eva, and then they just take it out from the industry and they release this very powerful tool, I believe, called Climate Studio. And you can get the free trial of it, or if you want to purchase it, you can purchase it. You can have an educational licensing if you are studying or teaching. Uh, they are generous enough to give you a free license for you to use. And if you see your university or institution here, you can directly contact these people uh, on this list. And by the way, the installation is quite straightforward. Once you download an Excel, Excel file uh, with an extension of Exe, you can double click to it and then you can install it. There are a bunch of different information on the web page that you can see. I think they are quite useful. You can check. Uh, they have also the documentation, learn like tutorials about it and stuff like that. As I said, it's about they talk about Eva here as well. So what is Climate Studio? When you install it, you obviously receive, you'll have these buttons here in your Rhino tab. They might appear somewhere else in your screens, but in mine, they, I put them here. And you would see them here as well. What are these? If I take them off for a second. So when you right click to this tab, you can see a lot of different options starting with CS, which means Climate Studio. So I can take out Climate Studio results. I can take out Climate Studio workflows. I find this quite useful to work with. That's why I am using with this fashion. And this urban context is quite familiar to us because in the previous uh, playlist, we used this one as our uh, case study, let's say. And we'll be doing the same with Climate Studio as well. So when you go to the CS workflows, you see a lot of different things. I mean, we'll cover them all during the upcoming playlist. For now, we'll be only focusing on site analysis tab. And when we click on the site analysis, obviously we see the location. Now it's in Istanbul. It's giving us the information about the location that we are grabbing uh, from there, from Climate Studios. Uh, database let's say and if you click here browse files you see that there are a bunch of information so in this case it's Istanbul but if we replicate what we've done with Ladybug we can grab the working file for Madrid Barajas Suarez we had the uh, I think this one is the airport and this is the latest version of it so i think we can download this one and when we click download it's downloaded and then we immediately change it with this one so if you also click to this location you can see the available files here you can say the all or you can just browse through the working files as well so after you set this up what we are seeing here is nothing yet right accept this information. So what is this information? This is kind of a text information about the location that we are having. So open climate zone, a Sharia climate zone. These are basically the types of climates. I think this one has five different zones. This one has nine ranging from zero to eight, really like um, extreme hot to extreme cold kind of a thing every general temperature and everything that is related to this location as a text file we can read them here like including coldest month coldest week hottest month of this week and like so and so forth and one thing that is quite important here to mention is the compass so as you remember from the ladybox compass we 
create that by hand. But if we click on show compass here, we are seeing the compass and we can change the size of it. If I double, if I click to this part here, I'm not sorry, this part here, display size, if I make it 100, you see increases. And the north offset is the north offset, meaning the angle. So when you rotate it, it goes counterclockwise from this point of view. And whenever you change your view, it's always showing the north and the north is actually this y axis again, unless the otherwise uh, included. So you can switch the unit system from uh, metrics to imperial and I think if you copy text and you copy this text you can paste it if needed uh, you can copy this text and if I grab a text component here and then when you paste it you paste it if needed you can always include this information in your uh, in your apps as well so with this being said, I think this is it for the very first introductory video of Climate Studio. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we can create a sun path by using Climate Studio. So stay tuned for the second video of this playlist.